Hello, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be concentrating on the memory retrieve, um, which is a very important exercise to teach a young gun dog and also for an experienced dog after the shooting season um, to get it back in check again. The memory exercise basically is to teach um, confidence with a dog, so distance and um, all the aspects that we want from a gun dog, i.e. the set, sending a dog out, the retrieve itself, um, and then coming back to us and a delivery. So all those bits we can break down, we can focus on, and we can get the exercise so it's nice and crisp, uh, make it easy, we can make it hard. The way we do those two changes basically is distance, cover, the, the way we use a memory exercise is, is, is various different techniques for different breeds, but the main thing is, um, you know, it's a nice, easy exercise to remember for the handler. It's very clear to the dog what's expected of it. And again, you can make it as hard, as easy as you want. Okay, so we've got young Sabre here. He's a bit more advanced on the memories, but he's still a young dog. So I'll demonstrate what the end result looks like and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, close Sabre. Close. Sabre, Sabre, close. Sit. Wait. Wait. Leave it. Close. Good lad. There's a good boy. And close. Sit. Wait. Fetch. Good lad. Steady up. Steady up. Good lad. Steady up. Sabre. Sabre. Steady up. There's a good boy. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see there with the experienced dog, that's the aim that we're trying to get to um, of the exercise. What we're going to show you now with the Labrador puppy, how we break that down into four separate uh, zones so we can actually teach the exercise separately, then bring it all together into the final exercise you've seen with the experienced dog. <laughs> We've got young Otis here with Barbara and Otis is going to be used for beating and picking up. So we're going to start with the base exercise that you've seen with the odour dog, um, which is basically the memory. We break down the memory retrieve into four separate bits, okay? So we'll do the first bit, which is getting the dog used to walking on the lead, the heel work, okay? So Barbara's got the slip lead on, it's set to walk on the left hand side. When we do the heel work, we hold the slip lead like this, okay? So we can grasp it, it's facing the right way then. We don't want to be pulling the lead or anything. We just let the dog have the full lead and we communicate with the dog with our body language and our voice to, to, to correct the dog into the right position. <laughs> okay, so if I get that back to Barbara. Just come. Okay, so all we're gonna do, we're gonna walk um, with the dog. When the dog goes wrong, Barbara's gonna step back and tell um, Otis to get close. When Otis is close again and seated, we start off again. If you repeat this enough and using the word close or heel and correct the dog to the correct position, you'll find that dog starts to naturally go to that position when you correct it. Eventually, after about a week, you should be able to go eight when the dog goes half wrong and the dog should dress itself back into the correct position. That's what we're after. If you start tugging the lead, which a lot of people do, which we call checking, that's not really communicating with the young dog. It's using force. Force doesn't communicate properly and you just get into a battle. So as Otis is growing up and let's say he gets to 35 kilograms, checking a 35 kilogram dog is not going to have any effect on it whatsoever. So at this young age now, we want to coax the position that we want in, in, in a nice way so it becomes enjoyable for both the handler and the dog. Because when you go shooting, if a dog's walking next to you, you just got a happier time. So when you're ready, if you just walk forward, just take your time. Nice, clear communication. Only engage with the dog when you need to. Other than that, just look forward, look forward and walk, okay? Let's go. Oh, just good boy. That's it. Then when you want to turn, just say close and turn. Yeah, close. Close. Nice. Close. This okay, way. then we're coming up to a wait. So we just stop. Tell our dog to wait. Wait. Okay. Correct yourself to the dog because he's only young. So put yourself back in the correct position next to the dog. Wait. 
Okay, and then you can say good close with a treat if you need to. Good boy. Okay, make sure as soon as you fuss, you put it back into a weight. Yeah. Okay, with a verbal command. Because what you find with a young dog is that thinks it's the finish, it's not, it's a story. So everything's got a start, a middle, and an end. Yeah. So, as again, we put him back in a sit. Okay. So it just gets attention. Hey, hey, this way. Hey, come. Back into a sit. Sit. Brilliant. Wait. And this is what we Wait. really mean by conditioning, yeah? Wait. We don't train a dog, we condition a dog to behave a certain way in a certain environment. Um, once it's trained in this environment, say, so if I trained you all the time, um, it would get used to it. Then I'd go over to another field with perhaps a bit of different cover and then correct again. Okay, so as you can see, he's moved, just put him back in a sit, sit. And then you break the eye contact again. Okay, so the dog gets used to us disengaging with it. Okay, okay. and then when you step off, you just step off again. So if we just do the same thing, just go back down that way. Let's go close. That's it. Just go close. Good. That's it. And then look forward. That's it. See how he's looking at you there? That's good. Then when we change direction, say close. Close. That's it, nice. Now he's really looking at you, that's really good. Okay, and then we're coming up to an end of a heel work exercise, so we finish with a sit, which becomes a weight, okay? Wait. Then correct yourself to him. Don't make him move, you move yourself, that's it. Wait. And you correct with the, with, with the, cheat, the treat, you can actually say to him, good, boy. good close, so he's getting that word nice good and, close. Nice and um, friendly with the dog. Good close. Okay? Wait. We don't say close or heel in an aggressive manner because it's not enjoyable, okay? All right. If your dog does do that, start yapping, okay? Don't look at the dog, just walk, okay? Just snap the dog out of it and just walk around. Straight back into a close exercise. Otis, Otis, That's close. it, brilliant. Just, where I go? Okay, do 180 again. Nice, really nice, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Too close there. <laughs> I just, nice for... attention. Okay, we're coming up to a finish. So you engage the dog, put the dog in a sit. Sit, sit. Nice. Okay, and then wait. Correct with the correct word with the treat. Close. Good. Good close. close. Nice. Brilliant job. Okay, so we've done the heel work. Okay, which is the first part of the memory retrieve. The next bit we do, strange enough, is the finish. Okay, because we can do those two exercises together. Okay, so when you're heeling, you're just going to step backwards and say, "What's this?" Okay, both hands low, get engagement with the dog, and then you stop and lift the hands up to your eyes and you'll find a dog sits staring at you, okay? That's practicing a delivery, okay? So you want a nice a nice delivery, really, where you're both enjoying it, okay? Yeah. Um, and it, it gives that natural head position, the, the, the offering position, so it's nice and easy to take, the, to, to take the retrieve and then go on to the next thing, okay? All you've got to remember is, Sit. everything's got to be the next chapter, okay, the next storyline for the dog. Just, so as soon as we've got this eye contact and we've treated, yeah, good look or whatever you want to say, it's, it's up to you what you say, uh, basically, it's, it's just a trigger word. Um, but once you've got that, you've got to go back into a sit and carry on, okay? Don't pause too long because the dog will think that's the end of the exercise, I can do what I want, mate. All this conditioning we're trying to do is to get the dog to heal, retrieve, deliver, back to heal, and we heal off again. Yep. So it's a complete story. Every, every retrieve is a chapter, you know, a start, a middle, and an end. And the dog always knows then, through, through these techniques, what the job of the dog is at all times because you've conditioned the dog at all times to know what that job is, yep. okay? So, but we're keeping it nice, we're keeping it happy, we're keeping it fun. Because I like to see a dog that's happy when it's working, not a dog that's looking like it's going to get towed off, yeah. okay? So you happy with that? Yeah, Okay. Yeah, so definitely. just do the same heel what you did a minute ago, treating each hand, step back and say, what's this? Or look, whatever command you yeah. want to use. Stop, bring your hands up, good look and then back to heel, okay? Okay. Oh, just sit, oh, just sit. Yes, good boy. Come on then, let's go. That's it, whenever you're ready. What have we got? Hey, what have we got? Where's walk she? backwards, walk backwards. Where okay. is he? Walk backwards, that's it. Then stop, lift your hands up, dog goes into a sit, pause, count to two, and then give the treat, say good luck. Or good well, luck. Well, that's it, then straight back into a sit, once the dog's finished picking the treats up there. <laughs> that I just dropped. <laughs> back Come into on. a sit, mate. And sit. Ah. Okay, so that's that story finished. We set up the next chapter, we go off again. Close. Otis, let's go. Close. Okay, and just practice the exercise again. Hey. This time, walk backwards a bit more sharper. Where we go? Where is he? Where is he? That's it. Where and is he? Look. Look. Pause and then treat. Good look. Good boy. Good Say the boy. sit again. Sit and sit. then close and off you go. Close. Come on. Close. Good boy. Hey. That's it. Nice. Sit. 
it. Cool. And then back into the heel. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Well done. Okay. Good boy. Boy, okay, so next bit we want to practice basically is putting those two things together with a recall. Okay, so we're going to walk down, sit them up, don't go too far. Okay, okay, and then you're going to recall with a whistle into the front maneuver. And then as the dog comes in, using a sit whistle, so you do exactly the same exercise but without using verbal to start with, it's going to be the whistle. Okay, yep. so it's whistle, hand, voice if you need it. I okay, just, sorry, just, he's trying to get my treats now. It's because you whistled. <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh, we got. All right, so you go straight into the exercise when you're ready, mate. Come on, then. Where are we going? Go for a walk. I just... Oh, my God. Come on, let's go for a walk. Hey, hey. Otis, what have we got? Hey, here he is. Good boy. Here. Good boy. Sit. Otis. Wait. Cool. Good sitting. And then get a hold of the lead and then straight into your next story, which would be the heel work again, and repeat the exercise. All right. Good boy. Let's go walking. Good boy. Let's go walking. Hey, hey. Wait. Wait. Ah, ah. Wait. Good walk, good boy. Well then, let's go. Let's go walking, good boy. Let's go walking. Hey, hey, good boy. Wait, wait, wait. Good boy. Nice, well done. Brilliant job. The fourth bit we need to, we need to practice basically is the drop off, okay? Because on a memory retrief, we want to sit the dog up, walk a couple of paces away, place the dummy down, okay? Get the dog to leave it and then walk away from it, okay? Then we go for the set and the send, yep. all right? But to start with, we, we do this bit as a bit of fun, okay? So you want the dog to sit steady, put the dummy down, collect the dog, walk away, send for the retrieve, bit of praise to get the dog back um, but that goes to the front later when we put it all together but this bit's a nice way especially with a bit of different cover to get the dog used to going out getting a dummy that's been left there so it's a marked retrieve okay obviously a memory um, and then it should come straight back to the retrieve and then on to the next chapter okay so all those things together we should get a nice pattern of the story which would be the send the retrieve itself the return and the delivery and then off to the next story got it okay Let's go for a walk. Let's go. Otis, here we go. Otis. That's it, keep, keep shuffling your feet, sit. put them in a sit. Sit. That's it, yes. try and keep moving. Wait, wait, wait. Leave it. Leave it. And then straight into the heel. This Let's way. go. This way. Ah, ah, keep ah, walking. This keep way. Walking. Come on. Good boy. Here. Keep Where walking. Is he? Don't wait for him. Keep Where walking. Is he? Good boy. This way. Where's he, good boy? Okay, then turn round. Where's he, good boy? Set him up. Sit. Sit. Nice pause. Go on, then. That's it. You want a bigger pause for the retrieval, and then talk to him. This hey, way. What you got? What's this? What's what this? What you got? What you got? Good boy. Level Lots boy. of touch. Lots of touch. Level Last boy. thing we touch is a dummy. That's good it. Brilliant boy. job. Okay, then straight back into a sit. This way. So we need to put the lead on and go into the next and next chapter. Sit down. Okay, Good. lead on. Hey, lead Don't on. forget to use a whistle for the oh. drop off, yeah? <laughs> yeah, try and keep so moving if you can. All oh, right, okay, yeah. yeah. And then just put the dummy down, okay? The reason why we want to put the dummy down is opposed to chucking it, because chucking these two running in. Yeah, okay? yeah. So everything should be placed nice and gently. Okay? okay. So just take your time, nice clear commands. When you leave the dummy, no hesitation, collect the lead, let's go, step into the dog and you're off, okay? okay? You're yeah. not stopping for anything. Yeah, okay. okay? Let's go for a walk. Come on. Good boy. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's just... Good That's boy. It. When you're ready, blow your sit whistle. That's it. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. This way. Go, let's go. Much way. better. Good Much boy. Better. 
Yeah. Keep walking so there's no interest in the dummy. What's I got? That's it, perfect. And do the setup. Good boy. And try and pause this time from the lead coming off. Good That's boy. It. Set your lead off. Keep wait. saying wait. 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 And then say when ready. Go on in. Go on in. And lots of encouragement to come back. What you got? Oh, what you got? What you got? Lots of touch. Boy. Lots of touch. There Good we go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Come on in. And then straight back into a sit. Here, here. Otis, where is he? Where is he? Hey. Ah, ah. Where is he? Good boy. And lead on. Good boy. Okay, once more, mate. Good boy. Getting better each time. Brilliant job. Yeah. Here, here. Tis. We've done the four bits separate there, Barbara. Um, the reason why we do that fun retrieve at the end is I, do, I don't want too much pressure on a dog too early. I don't want a formal sit with a dummy in the presentation yet. I want to have a bit of fun with a dog. I want it to be enjoyable for the young lad as well as it is for you. And I just want to, you know, this, this circle around us should be fun. There should be no reason why the dog doesn't want to come back to us, okay? It's very easy to break that trust between yourself and the dog if you're snatching dummies too early. Don't fear the delivery, enjoy the delivery, okay? So what we're going to do now is basically put all those bits together and the real bit we're focusing on now when we do the complete exercise is a delivery, okay? I don't care about the dummy being dropped at this stage, I can fix that later on, okay? So when a dog comes in, just do your front, which is your look, okay? And then treat and off we go, lead back on and we're back off again, okay? okay. In between that, obviously pick the dummy up. As a dog gets older, Okay, and it's, and it's more acute to what we're doing. What I start doing is, rather than have two hands like that, I rub my hands, yeah, I'm looking at the place I want the dog to come to. The dog comes like that, I take the dummy and I straight away go back into the sit, okay? Off. So the actual delivery, Off. we can fix that pretty, pretty quickly, okay? okay? But because he's young, we want it to be fun. We want him to get every component right, okay? The dummy, not so much, okay? Um, people focus on that too much and it just really, really can wreck your relationship, okay? okay. Doing it this way, keeping it fun. The best way to train a gun dog is do it the fun way. Okay. So if you want to do the complete exercise. Yeah, you've got okay. the dummy on. Oh, sorry. Back, so. I'm nicking the dummy off you. There well, we go. Back there we go. Otis. Right. I've got new treats left. Oh, well. Come on, let's go for a walk. Hey, oh, I can't. Just take your time. Nice strong drop off. That's it. Leave nice it. and slowly. Wait. Wait. No, leave it and just leave walk. it. Let's go. That's it. Brilliant job. Then we keep walking so the dog shows no interest in the dummy. That's okay. Right. And then we, we do the set, turn Here around, on. line the dog up with the dummy. Sit down. Nice. Good boy. Wait. Lead off. Nice pause. Wait. And then send. Go on then. And get ready for your front position. That's it, keep his attention. Oh my god! And what is this? What's the cup? Nice. Okay, pick the dome up before you treat. Okay, get back in that position there. Good treat. looking. Good boy. Here we go. Back to your reset position. Good boy. Into a sit. Lead on. Okay, and then you start the next chapter with the heel work. And that's when you can fuss and then as soon as you're healing, give him a good fuss. Good when you're moving, yeah? You're when you're moving. Come on then, let's go. That's when you fuss him there. You can give him as much fuss good as you want. Boy. Mate. You're so good.